this is Kirsten, Babel's Managing Editor, here with Colony House today. How are you guys? Great. Straight Great. from Tennessee? Straight from Tennessee. Yes. <laughs> how are you feeling? How are you, how are you liking New York so far? We love New York. We come here a lot these days, and we say New York feels a little bit smaller every time. It used to terrify us. Our brains, our, our southern brains, couldn't quite um, translate the speed of uh, life up here. But it started, we're starting to catch up, I think. Uh, so you just released your album last week. Yes. Indeed. Only the Lonely. Only the Lonely. That's like the first time we've said this in an interview, it, we, that we just released it. This Ooh. is our first interview for the new record. Yes. How does it feel? Post feels release. great. <laughs> yeah. This, this feel album great. got pushed back. Um, we were supposed to release it in September. So it feels extra good to finally be like, here we are. Maybe the world is crazy. Maybe it's you and I, I, I. Do you feel like, because after the release of your last album, you went on a crazy long tour, mm -hmm. And then this album came out. Do you feel like this album kind of has like a new perspective from the road? We had never done anything like that before. And so there were a lot of like expectations and like, and then realities that were discovered where it's like, well, this is something that you dream about for so long. And then it's like, okay, go play 60 shows in three months. And it's like, how? <laughs> you know, like, and yeah. then you're, you're one month in and you're like, I am not going home for so long. Like you have these expectations of like going home, and you're like, "This is gonna be the best. I'm gonna come home. There's gonna be a parade of like, way to go, man! You were you worked so hard, and we're gonna like, you know, have parties. We're gonna have bonfires. You're gonna be champagne. <laughs> and and you come home, and it's like, no one pressed pause on life while you were gone. You know, right. three months has have happened and we've all continued to do this and everyone yeah it's happy to have you home but at the same time like everyone has to keep living life you know so the I mean yeah that's what this whole album is about is kind of learning how to cope with life on the road and life at home um, together so yeah and you both have family at home too right Yes, we're all, um, we're the most rock and roll band of all time and all have, are married. I didn't plan on getting married when I was 19, um, but I did and, uh, and I still am. And I, my, the last two years of my life with my kid has been the best years of my life. We have a really, I think the best way to think about it is we have like the most awesome support team back home rooting Aww. us on. Yeah, that's like one of the first things I noticed was like, you guys are making rock music, totally badass, but then like you all have families and like in hey interviews man, are so is nice. Badass. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, you are like the most polite people, <laughs> really good handshakes. <laughs> like. You know what? That's just good parenting, I think, right there. We got, yeah. we got good handshakes. I can, I can tell eye you, contact. since I was three years old, I was being taught how to look someone in the eye and shake their hand. Um, <laughs> Not too firm, though. You're not yeah, trying to prove a yeah, point or anything. You're just trying to be nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, congrats on the album release and Thank congrats so on the upcoming tour. <laughs> yeah. Thank thanks. you. Wish you the best of luck and thanks, thanks so, so much, much for talking to us today. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Babel. <laughs> Thank you.